people with no sense of fashion or who don't look amazing. I think I see what she's doing. The mask, etc. It's really rather clever. I'm sorry, I better stop there. Because why talk when I could just stand here? Looking fantastic. You told me she was crazy. I didn't think you meant crazy. Hold it right there, Miss Hart. That was the most astonishing piece of reverse psychological rhetoric I have ever heard from a student. A little avant-garde with the mask and your friends down there, but innovation is always welcome. Thanks a lot, Baldy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Very clever. With this highly unconventional and imaginative display, I have to say, the debate goes to Jasmine Hart, and she goes through to the next round. Um, thanks, Mr. Tubbs and everybody, but I'm going to have to pass on that. Hello. This is the eighth message I've left for you today. Can one of you get in touch with me ASAP? We were supposed to be having a meeting at dinner time. It's now five o'clock. Will you, one of you give me a call and let me know what's going on? What they like, eh? Probably still drunk. I'm writing a novel. Well, trying anyway. Seems I'm at the age where I just want to tell the world of my experiences. I have a voice that could moderately make some kind of difference, I guess. No one's going to read about your experiences. We always got the most brutal murders in prosecution. There was only so much we could do back then with all the hierarchical bullshit. So I guess all that combined makes them the most thought-provoking cases I could have worked on. You ever get married? Yeah, it didn't work out. Early retirement definitely did, though. That's the kids packed off. Oh dear. I do worry sometimes. Go on. You know you talked to Simon last week about the birds and the bees. Right. Well, yesterday I was cleaning Simon's room and... Sharon. How many times? Smints are not drugs. They're just small but powerful mints. Phil, I'm serious. Now, I would really like it if you would come and have a look. First time I saw it, I thought I was going to be sick. The terrifying ordeal of the family caught up in Britain's biggest ever robbery. We know for a fact that this is organised crime at its top level. Andy, what do you got? How much? It wasn't long before they had their first lead. Makeup artist Michelle Hogg. Who's she? Apparently she made up a few guys to look like policemen. Policemen? Yeah. Sleep with me. Right, it's me done. 